everyone welcome to hopeful turns in today's video i'll be sharing with you the pattern for this crochet mini baubles now this is great to use as a christmas ornament to decorate your christmas tree you can even give them as gifts to your friends and family it's a really quick simple and easy tutorial so let's see the materials first and then we'll head over to the pattern now for this particular um, bobble i have used some uh, worsted weight cotton yarn now you can use any weight yarn that you have at hand just make sure that all the three colors um, are of the same weight and type so i've just used the christmas colors red white and green uh, but you can go ahead and use other colors pastel colors or if you are planning on certain color theme you can just go ahead and use them uh, i would say at least two or three colors would be best two minimum but you can go ahead and make with three or four uh, so i have just used the christmas color and as i said uh, these are worsted weight medium four weight yarn uh, the usual hooks, hook size for this is 5 mm but i just wanted the stitches to be really tight i didn't want any uh, stuffing to come out so that's why i have gone down a hook size and here i have used a 4.5 mm crochet hook so whatever is the recommended hook size try to use one or two hook sizes smaller than the recommended one now apart from this you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to attach the two pieces i'll show you as we go ahead and some fiber fill stuffing now if you do not have this kind of stuffing you can uh, use some uh, scrap yarns or maybe even tiny tear some small pieces of fabric and use them as stuffing so yeah you would require some stuffing so i have used fiber fit so these are the materials that you would require uh, now before moving forward a small request if at any point in the video you like what you see please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you are looking for other Christmas ornaments, I do have quite a few on my channel. So I have put a playlist link in the description box. If you are interested, do check that up as well. Now let's move into the tutorial. So we'll start this pattern with a magic circle. Now this is how I like to do the magic circle. Take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, you can take this loop out. Take your hook. Pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through. So this here is your magic circle. Now if you want some more help with the magic circle, you can click on the link that is coming up here. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to do the magic circle. Let's move on to round one. So once you have your magic circle, make chain two, two chain stitch, one and two. And this two chain stitch will be counted as a half double crochet. So after you make two chain stitch put nine half double crochet into the magic circle so to make a half double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is my first half double crochet this here is my second half double crochet this is two here is my third half double crochet like this i'm going to put a total of nine half double crochet into the magic circle now the chain two which we had put earlier that also will be treated as a half double crochet so in total once you finish this round you will have a total of 10 half double crochet that includes the chain two so i'm just going to put my nine half double crochets first i'll just give this a count okay so here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and here I've got my 2 chain stitch. So I have a total of 10 half double crochet. I'm just going to pull on this so as to close the gap. Now take your first chain 2. This here is my first chain 2. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the second chain. So this is 1, this is 2. Here is the second chain stitch go ahead and slip stitch so that will finish off round one at this point you can cut off your yarn so i'm just going to cut my yarn here so that completes round one we will move on to round two so for round two i'm going to take a new color so you can pull on this magic circle end to close off the gap completely 
let's move on to round two so for round two i'm going to start with the green color yarn and uh, i'm going to attach it to any place other than the one that i, I have cut here because if i'm going to attach here itself it will add a lot of bulk to one particular stitch so that's why i'm going to attach it to some other stitch now in this particular round usually what we do is we will be stitching on top of the half double crochet the v that we make this is where we usually do the crochet but for this particular round we will be crocheting between the stitches so these are two half double crochet so just poke your hook through between the two stitches so you'll find a gap so that is where we will be crocheting for this round so that will add a third loop uh, we, we do have the two loops of the V the front and back apart from that we'll also have a back loop when we are crocheting between the half double crochet stitches so I'll first of all attach my new yarn so this is how I like to attach it I'll take the yarn I'll just pull it through this here and knot it down now you can attach the way you prefer I'm just knotting this down to attach the new color okay so once that is done and just insert my hook again and pull the yarn out like this and make two chain stitch chain two one two so this again will be treated as a half double crochet and again i'm going to put one more half double crochet in the same space so into the same space make another half double crochet so here we have got two half double crochet between the stitches now come to your next stitch so instead of going to the v stitch i'm just trying to find the gap between the half double crochet so poke your hook through or between the two half double crochet stitches and make a half double crochet so i forgot to yarn over so yarn over and make a half double crochet there so this is one half double crochet i'm going to put one more half double crochet into that same space so for this round you're going to put two half double crochet in every stitch and it's just that the every stitch will be made between the stitches so every uh, stitch between the half double crochet we are going to put two half double crochet so just poke your hook through it so you can see there is another loop that we are catching and then put two half double crochet this is one and in the same gap make another half double crochet so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern making two half double crochet between the stitches of the previous round so this will kind of pop the stitches better so if you see here if you can see this is the second round the stitches are quite uh, prominent when we work between the stitches so that is why we are working between the stitches and also the gap that is formed is also very less when we work like this so i'll just complete this round and i join you at the end of round two all right so here i'm at the end of round two and once you finish round two you'll have 10 sets of two half double crochet so if you see this is a set which has two half double crochet like that you should have a total of 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so in total i have 10 sets of these two half double crochets now in order to finish off this i'm going to slip stitch into the second chain so we have started with two chain stitch into the top chain or the second chain i'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch so that will finish off round two i'll just cut my yarn here okay so this is end of round two we will move on to round three so for round three i'm going to start with my white color yarn and this time i'm going to attach it between the two sets of two half double crochet so if you see this is a set of two half double crochet this is the next set of two half double crochet so between these two sets if you see there is a small gap so this is where we will be working for this round so first of all i'm going to attach it there so attach your new yarn like this and what we'll do is we will start with two chain stitch so make two chain stitch chain two this is going to be treated as a half double crochet now in the same space i'm going to put two more half double crochets so this is one 
and in the same space I'm going to put another half double crochet so if I have to count chain 2 as my first half double crochet I now have three half double crochet in this space now come to your next space so the next space will be between these two sets so this is one set of half double crochet this is another set of two half double crochet so between them there is a space there I'm going to go there and make three half double crochet so this is one this is two and one more three so I have put three half double crochet in that space between the sets come to your ne next set so this is one set this is another set between them find the gap and here again put three half double crochet so this is the pattern for this round you will be making three half double crochet for every gap between the two sets so you can see this is another set of three half double crochet so again we are going to make three half double crochet and that will be made between the two sets so find the next set you just have to insert your hook you can find the space easily and again put three half double crochet one two and three so like this i'm just going to go ahead and complete this round and you'll have again 10 sets of the three half double crochet so here i'm at the end of round three i have 10 sets of three half double crochet that is you'll have a total of 30 half double crochet once you finish off this round now in order to finish off this completely i'm just going to slip stitch into the second chain of the chain two we had started with two chain find the second chain and slip stitch to join like this so this will finish off round three we can cut our yarn here now there is just one more round to work so that is the end of round three we'll start round four so for that i'm again going to take my white color yarn now this round is very straightforward we are just going to put one single crochet around this so we have 30 half double crochet we'll be working one single crochet on top of each of it so in total we'll have 30 single crochets so i'll just first of all take my yarn out i'll attach it as i said if you know a better way to attach the yarn you can use any method to attach uh, the new color okay so i have attached my yarn i'm going to pull it out and make just one chain so as to get the height and now in the same space i'm going to make a single crochet and i'm going to go ahead and make one single crochet around this now if at this point your piece is not laying flat it is curving down that is perfectly normal that is what we are looking for we do need a curved uh, surface so as to turn it into a ball now if that if it doesn't if it is completely flat that's also fine not an issue i just wanted to point out that if it is not lying flat it's quite normal that's what we are looking for so i'm just going to go ahead and make one single crochet in all of these stitches and i'll join you at the end of this round so here i'm at the end of round four and i have put one single crochet in each of the stitches and i now have a total of 30 single crochet now in order to finish off this round i'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet not the chain one but the first single crochet it is curving down a bit that's totally fine i'm just going to cut my yarn uh, so you'll have to make two pieces like this so i have already one made one and i had cut my yarn here uh, this is cut a little bit small but when i'm doing the next one i'll cut a long tail so just pull out a long tail because we have to use this yarn to go around so one you can cut it short the second one that you make you cut a long tail and we use this yarn to join both of them together so i've already made this make two pieces and once you are ready we can join now you don't have to weave in this we will use it as a stuffing if you want you can cut it off but i'm not doing that now take your darning needle and we will start joining okay so let's do that so put the wrong um place together so these are all this is the wrong side so put this two together and this is how we'll be joining you can see for this particular circle here 
this is the front loop this is the back loop and if you are for the second one that is behind this is the this is the front loop and this is the back loop so what we'll do is this is front this is back so i'm going to go ahead and use the back loop from here and the front loop of this piece here so the two loops which are close to each other we'll be joining them together so that is how we'll be joining this piece so let's start so we will insert our hook through the front to the back and the front of this piece and pull it out come to your next stitch use the back loop of this side and the front loop of this side and pull it out like that you can just go ahead and join it almost 80 to 90 percent and then we will add the filling so i'm just going to go ahead and join these two pieces together so using the two loops that are close to each other you can stitch that up so i'll complete that and then we will do the stuffing so just leave a small gap in order to push the stuffing in okay so here i have stitched this almost 90 percent i have a small gap so before i close it completely i'm going to stuff this up now if you are looking for a nice round ball you might need a little bit more stuffing to make it like a ball but if you are looking for a very flat uh, piece you don't have to add much stuffing in fact you can just uh, close them up together without any stuffing at all so that's up to you how you want your bobbles to look like um, it will look beautiful even without any stuffing with just the two pieces but i am planning to make it like a ball so i'll add a lot of stuffing just to make it nice and round okay so here i have filled this in and i think the shape looks perfectly fine uh, it is like a nice round bobble now let's just weave this completely so attach your yarn needle if it is come undone and go through the remaining stitches to close this up so the last couple of stitches you can go through the back loop and the front loop and completely close this off so this is the starting stitch i'm just going to hide the small gap that was there so this is all completely stitched up i'm just going to go ahead go poke my hook here and i'm going to make a small knot and then we can hide in the other end okay so i've made a small knot you can just go through you can just insert your hook through the same stitch and come out of some other stitch so i'm going to take my needle through some other stitch don't pull it tightly just close it and pull and you can cut off the excess so your bobble is ready so there our bobble is ready now for the last part the hanging now you can use anything uh, for the hanging you can use a jute thread or you can use a golden color silver color thread anything that you have at hand i'm just going to go with the same color the red color so i'll again use a darning needle so that i can push it between the stitches that is more convenient so i'm going to go ahead between the two stitches like this take it out i just want one end out okay once you have that you can knot this i'm going to make a double knot now if you want you can keep the double knot at the top or you can even hide it just show you so make a small knot here double knot it like this and keep the knot above if you want to hide it i'll just trim this off a little bit and to show you you just have to pull it inside the bobble it will stay there like this push it down if you want you can use your hook to push that inside or your darning needle 
you can just make sure that the knot that you just made is hidden inside then pull it so it gets hidden and you don't have a knot at the top so that's up to you how you want your bobble to look like and there it is ready so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do this crochet mini bobbles i hope you like the tutorial i hope you enjoyed making it so you can make it with different colors you just don't have to stick with the traditional christmas colors you can use pastels or if you have a particular theme color theme just go ahead and make that it's really simple and quick uh, pattern and i hope you enjoyed it now if you like the pattern uh, if you like the tutorial please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing uh, if you're looking for other christmas ornaments decoration like stockings or mini hats i do have quite a few on my channel so i've put all the links in the description box as well as on the end screen that is coming up so if you're interested do check that up as well and if you're making anything with any of my patterns please do tag me in your pictures i would love to see what you have made so that's it for today's tutorial see you in another another video until then bye bye thank you for watching